What do you want to say to the channel? Hi. Is that it? Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. This is my daughter, Aubrey. And, and we have Bubba, who is sleeping right now. We just got home from Starbucks, where I gave them some ideas for their glass board art. I'm excited to see which one they choose. I kind of helped them out with like their Thanksgiving one. So anyways, we just got back and there are a bunch of things I wanna do today. We have a million pomegranates from my sister. They have like a, a tree and I guess it made a lot this year, which is what I'm flower, hoping to get I for our yard. A, I found a flower and it's beautiful outside. It's beautiful, yes. So I wanna open up those and just make some pomegranate juice because there's no way we're gonna eat all of the seeds, um, even though Bubba likes them. And a bunch of other things. I wanna make some like treat tickets, so like a form of currency for Aubrey so that <laughs> And the kiddos, yeah. Um, I wanna have like some form of currency. So like if she plays outside for 30 minutes, she gets so many treat tickets and then she can cash them Do in for- Do you like my new pet? <laughs> and then, <laughs> then she can cash them in for treats, like candy or a TV show or like Look a trip to Dollar pet. Tree. Look. That's Aww, very beautiful. So beautiful. Anyways, let's go ahead and I cut up those it. pomegranates first, right? Yeah. Okay. So after all of that work, and I have to stop, my hands are kind of hurting, and there's still like a million pomegranates left to peel, but Jack woke up. But after all of that work, we got this much juice, which is a lot because, you know, if, if you've ever had pomegranate juice, it's very strong and you really don't need like that much, but apparently it's really good for you. So I'm excited about that. And I'm excited that we have a lot more so that I can make some more juice, but I'm gonna take a little bit of break because like I said, my hands are hurting and that already took me like a really long time. I'm gonna go feed bubs and when I'm done with that, I might, you know, peel a couple more pomegranates just so we have more seeds and then make more juice and then I'll start working on the treat tickets. Hey 
puppy. Are you gonna play nice in here while mommy does some more pomegranate stuff? Hopefully you'll be happy long enough for me to do some stuff on my computer. All right, I figured I'd cut like a couple more while he's in there just for snacks for him while I do some other stuff. That's like one way I keep him busy. I am thankful though that like in general, he's a easier to please, happier baby than Aubrey was when she was little. She would like stand in between me and this, like the island or whatever. And she'd be like in between me and, and just making it really uncomfortable for me to get anything done. And I'm thankful that he is like able just to kind of play by himself if Aubrey's in a different room. If she is in the same room, sometimes I have to be referee and make sure she's more gentle with him. But I have to say like in some ways, at least at the baby stage, having two kids is a lot easier than having one. And I know I've heard like a lot of people say that. Obviously having like one kid that's four years old is probably easier than having two kids. But you know, as far as like having a baby, she can at least be his entertainment. So I'm thankful for that. And I'm looking forward to seeing like, if God blesses us with more children, how having more than one will, you know, be. Yeah. You want to play with Ariel? Or what do you mean by that? You want to sing um, the Little Mermaid song? Yeah. Okay, well, you can sing it. Or what do you mean by that? I want to be the first one on the echo. Oh. Play music from my, the Little Mermaid. Looks like we'll be listening to that while I cut this up. If I to the sea, baby, I never say. Okay, well, I got done with a couple more. I got two little bowls full of seeds. Uh, there's no way that they're gonna eat all of these. This is just one of them. Um, but <sighs> there's still so much. I, I find it very therapeutic to like peel them, but when I have to also tend to them, it's not as therapeutic. I kind of wish I could just be kid free and do this. It would be relaxing. What would you like to say, Aubrey? Hi. <laughs> I need Chubba Chupa. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna uh, set him up and feed him and then uh, probably work right next to him on my computer, kind of finalizing what I want these little treat tickets to look like. And then I will print them out and let my cricket kind of do its thing. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, Bubby, can I get some loving? Mm. Can I get a tope? Mm. Tope? Bonk. Uh, oh yeah, you see the seeds, you're hungry. All right, so I have no idea why that was printing the way it was. I, I did start looking up online, maybe some troubleshooting. So hopefully I will figure that out in this video. This little guy is almost done eating, but I was eating a pomegranate seed and like it went down the wrong pipe. So I've been coughing and he has the funniest reaction. He thinks it's hilarious. Watch. Bubba. <coughs> I'm still trying to get it out. It's not as bad as it was before, but all he does is laugh at me when I'm coughing. 
<laughs> That's not funny. So a lot and a little at the same time has happened since I checked in last. I put Jack down for his second and last nap of the day and I juiced like probably the same amount of uh, pomegranates. So this guy is done. I still have like a bag and a half of pomegranates to eventually go through, but I didn't realize like this whole video is just gonna be me doing pomegranate stuff. So I'm gonna take a break from this and again, look online and try to troubleshoot why my little labels or um, tickets are printing the way that they are. I'm gonna try to figure that out and get those at least halfway done before Jack wakes up. But before I do that, I can't leave my mess, though like my kitchen the way it is. So we're gonna clean up and then work on the tickets. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. So I fed the kids, got them bathed. Jack is in his room, hopefully gonna fall asleep soon. Aubrey gets a little bit of a movie night. And so while that's kind of going on, <laughs> I am going to try to fix that ticket problem. The, that pomegranate stuff just took me forever. I kind of feel like this video is like pointless because that's all I did today. <laughs> but I'm still gonna try to get those tickets done. Aubrey, you wanna say hi? <laughs> She's enjoying watching PJ Masks on the big TV and eating popcorn. And Juan, you know, worked really late tonight. So that's why I 
didn't probably get as much done as I could have if he had come home earlier, but he was just trying to really wrap things up at work. But anyways, let's go get those tickets done. Juan is now putting Aubrey to bed. I finished my treat tickets. I like the way, ah, I like the way that they turned out. I was contemplating like coloring them or letting Aubrey color them, but then I didn't want like the ink to bleed and I just wanted to keep it as neutral as possible. Hopefully these will last a long time since I laminated them, but you never know. So the reason why I'm making these is I really want Aubrey to kind of begin to understand currency but obviously she doesn't she doesn't really know all of her numbers yet anyway so like a 5 treat ticket ticket like a $5 bill it doesn't make sense to her so i just figured like individual tickets will be helpful and then she can earn them by either doing like a chore around the house but also doing an activity that in my opinion is like a preferred activity like playing outside or playing quietly in her room or something like that, where I'm not the one having to entertain her, she's playing nicely or whatever, and I am I have to, you know, I'd like to be on the same page with Juan as far as how many tickets a certain activity earns and how many tickets a certain treat will cost. So I was thinking, you know, my initial thought would be, every 10 minutes played outside can earn a treat ticket. And then like, if she wants a candy, it's like 10 tickets or whatever. So she would have to spend like a hundred minutes outside to earn a candy, you know, and then cleaning up a certain chore would be, you know, five treat tickets or I, I really don't know, <laughs> but I essentially want her to, you know, make good choices earn these tickets and then we can start thinking about like, you know, paying and counting them and things like that. So that is why I'm making them. I will let you guys know how well they work. She seemed to, you know, listen in when I was mentioning it to Juan and she was asking like, oh, you know, when can I get a treat ticket? Is this gonna earn me a treat ticket? And things like that. So I think she's already excited about it and we will see how well it motivates her to make good choices and you know and that stuff so like i said i have to talk with juan to really figure out the numbers i'm going to print that out and put it somewhere visible so that we remember how much things are worth i have to hide my stash of treat tickets so that she doesn't get into them and she picked her spot for where she's going to store her treat tickets when she earns them so wrapping up this evening 
I still have to put up this little shower caddy. And I would like to thank, I believe it's pronounced like Vimia. They did send us this little adhesive shower shelf. And just by looking at it, I know that I'm gonna be like putting it in different places. I'm gonna take like one of the pieces and put it in our master shower because we have some like foot scrubber things that don't really have a place. They're kind of like hopping around from place to place. So I want to use one of the pieces in there and then uh, the other pieces will go in our guest bathroom. And then there's like some additional hooks and I'm contemplating using them at our coffee bar. So while for a bathroom, it would be all great <laughs> just to go ahead and use in one place. I'm actually gonna be using them in multiple places because that's what works for us. I do like how the product has like the little clear adhesive thing to put on a shower, but you can also, if it works out in your shower, like screw it into the wall or, you know, maybe if you wanna use, I'm assuming that's if you wanna use it somewhere else too to hold things. You can maybe keep it, in, like I could keep it in my pantry and store some canned goods that way or something like that. Like shower caddies do not always need to be used in the shower. They have multiple purposes. So I like that they give like different options, especially if you don't want to use just the sticky stuff to secure the um, shelf in your shower. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead after I rest a little bit cause I'm just exhausted and uh, use the little sticky adhesive parts to put up those shower shelves in our bathroom and then we will call it a night. Again, I'd like to thank Vimia for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I will place the link to the product down below in the description box for your convenience if you want to get one of these shower shelves for yourself. <laughs> that was a tongue twister. Anyways, thanks again for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you are new, and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.